Hi you guys, it's Melanie, founder and creator of the YouTube channel, Living Luxuriously for Less. So it's no secret that on this channel, I do a lot of home decor, um, a lot of DIYs, a lot of crafting, a little bit of cooking, maybe some fashion, but I absolutely love event planning. I love party planning. I love baby showers and weddings and um, graduation parties and milestone events such as retirements or anniversaries. I just love celebrating like any reason. I mean, just give me a reason to celebrate and I will definitely come up with a beautiful theme and a gorgeous event for you. Um, so many times when you guys watch my videos, you often ask me, you know, where do I get my inventory? How do you start your inventory for event planning? And I will um, preface this statement by saying I go through this in depth in my online Lux Academy class. I advise you all to take it. It's so much information in there. Um, I'm not sure how much more time I'm going to have that particular class available because I'm going to be breaking it down into smaller segments and charging less for it but right now it's just $1.99 so if you want to check it out I'll leave it down below but I will give you guys a few tips as well like you know for those of you guys that just may not have it right now and you really really want to get started with your business I will definitely give you guys a few tips in this video so to get started, um, when you're building your inventory, the first thing I would tell you is to start with a basic color such as white or black. Um, for me, I started with white because you can grow white expeditiously. It's very inexpensive. Um, I do have a Lux box that I will link down below and I've already put everything together for you in that Lux box. So when you start with the white tablecloths and the white chair covers, you can always add color to white and that will prevent you from having to go back and invest and buy more and more and more tablecloths and you never really make a profit for the event because you're always spending the money on inventory if you start with a basic color like white you can go back and add toppers and runners and things like that in order to give your event a different look each time if you go back and look at a lot of my older events or a lot of my events that are more budget friendly you will see the base of everything that i have is white i also decorate my home that way if you look at my home all of my base pieces are neutral my sofas are neutral my beds are neutral all of my furniture is neutral i just believe in adding in that pop of color to give it a different look my second tip would be to look in unexpected places to find inventory i shop a lot like at hobby lobby and target and uh, walmart and dollar tree i mean there are so many amazing things in those stores that you can use to grow your inventory uh, and it's very very budget friendly um, a lot of times when i shop at all of the stores that i just mentioned other than a dollar tree most of the time it is when like it's after a holiday when they have a major sale that's like 90% off like the other day I just got some beautiful plates that were originally $9.99 and $11.99 I got those plates for 99 cents and a dollar and 19 cents at Hobby Lobby and I have tons of hauls on this channel that show you um, things that I've purchased while at the Dollar Tree centerpieces that I made from the Dollar Tree so many 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 options that you guys have to build your inventory by purchasing things for a fraction of the price but the biggest the biggest part of it all is having the right foundation and the right foundation is the tablecloths and the chair covers if you can get those white tablecloths and white chair covers um, and you invest in a linen that you know may not be the most superior quality but it's a very good quality linen and the chair covers that will transform the room on its own before you ever put a centerpiece on the table trust me and one of the resources that I use is eFavorMart they're one of the cheapest companies they have a very good quality for the price and again I will link that down below um, shopping you know off season buying things off season that you could definitely repurpose and use for your event such as Hobby Lobby and Target and the Target Dollar Spot and the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree Online is a huge resource for like chargers and um, cutlery and place settings and wine glasses. A lot of those things I purchase at the Dollar Tree. They also have floating candles now so I do get some of my floating candles from there as well. And the last tip that I have is that 
you know, again, shop in inconspicuous places like yard sales and Goodwills and places that you know you will find pieces that no one else will have. And that will separate your company from everyone else's company. Having those unique vases and vessels and centerpieces and things that you just can't go out and find again will definitely separate you. I shop a lot in like Facebook marketplace. I shop yard sales, thrift stores, a a lot in order to create that luxe look that I love on a budget. So those are my three tips to you guys for building your inventory. I hope that you found them helpful. If you did, please leave a comment down below letting me know the tip that you enjoyed the most. Thank you guys so much again for watching and until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers. Hi everyone, it's Melanie, founder and creator of the YouTube channel, Living Luxuriously for Less. So I'm sure you guys are here because you love the event planning content that I share. If not, you're here because somehow God landed you on this channel and I just wanted to take the opportunity to welcome you here. I promise that nothing happens by coincidence. I believe that there is a purpose and a plan for every single thing that we encounter in life. So today Today's purpose, I think, is for you to be inspired and educated, especially in the realm of event planning. And if you're not an event planner, a lot of the tips that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today can be easily transferred into any are arena of business. Without any further ado, we're going to hop into today's video, which is going to be around how to attract the ideal client. Now, if you're not in event planning, I think that the tips that I'm going to be offering today can be easily applied to any type of business. Um, prior to becoming a full-time event planner, I did work in corporate America as a senior product manager for over 15 years. So I definitely um, had a transferable skill set, and I think that a lot of the things that I'm sharing with you guys today can be transferred as well. So without any further ado, we're going to hop right into these points, um, the five points or the five E's of attracting your ideal client. So let's get started. So tip number one, you want to educate your client. How do you educate them? You let them know, you know, what to ex uh, expect, you know, what uh, the experience is going to be like with your company. Uh, a lot of ways that one of the ways that I choose to educate my clients is through social media. Like when I make a post, I may put out some information about, you know, tips that you should apply when looking for the proper event planner, um, just different lessons and things that I've learned along the way. Uh, there's just so many different ways you can share articles. There are so many different ways that you can educate your client. But once they find that you're interested in investing in them through education, that's automatically going to to grab their attention. So that's the first thing, is to educate your client about what you do, what services you offer, um, share articles, share tips, you know, you name it. Just find a, a plethora of ways to educate your client. The second thing that you can do is to empower your clients. Let them know that you care about them beyond making that sale. I think it's so important for us to do that. You, I think like a turnoff for me is that when I log on, to someone's page and it's not like a business page, it's a, a personal page and they're constantly selling to me every single day. It's like, book me, book me, I'm the best. You know, I, I, to me it's just, I don't, I'm not attracted to that as much as if I'm logging onto someone's page and I see a beautiful photo from an event or a photo of a child or, you know, I just see a photo that captivates my attention, then, accompanying that photo is like a motivational or encouraging word. I just feel like that, that just really captivates me. And I think once you educate them and then you empower, empower them. Okay, you guys, I apologize for the video ending so abruptly. However, I'm going to be unpacking and unfolding eight more of those tips in Lux Academy. I am now getting ready to launch the online school. And once you it, you will be certified as an event designer or decorator. 
uh, if you guys are interested in that, I will leave the link down below so that you can RSVP for your space. No payment is due at this time. This is just simply to express your interest so that when the classes launch, you will be the first to know. So if you guys are interested in that, you can also visit my website at melanieturner.design and then click on events. And when you see upcoming events, you can register there. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and found the information that I shared very enriching. If you did, please leave this video a huge thumbs up and a comment down below letting me know which point was resonated the most with you. I'll see you guys at the next video. And until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. And don't forget to check out my Mother's Day tablescape. Cheers!